Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 here in the dark, curse-ridden Shadowlands. We've got a few things to take care of before we venture forth. The first and foremost uh, task ahead of us is to go and talk to our good friend, Damon, uh, who we have uh, some business with, with regards to Carlac's Infernal Engine. We've got a couple pieces of Infernal Iron that we'll see if he can use to uh, to help her out. Mm. So, should be... Carlac, ooh, inside failed. I thought you'd be in the city by now. Interesting. We were ambushed by cultists. Half of us were captured, the other half ran here. Off the anvil into the forge. We'll find them. Hopefully. Before you run off into the belly of the beast, there's something I need to tell you. Well, two things. Good news and bad news. Okay, bad news. Which do you want to hear, Carlac? The good news, obviously. <laughs> obviously. I only need one more piece of infernal iron to craft an insulating chamber that can make it possible for Carlac to touch people. Exactly. Well, we have two oh my pieces. God. It's really happening. It's been so long. We've got the iron. Let's do this thing. Hang on. I think you'll want to hear the bad news too. Yeah. Yeah, okay. sure. But first, fix me. Please. Oh, I feel terrible for her. Um, let him speak. This sounds Fine. important. Well, go on then. I don't enjoy saying this, Karlak. But there's no two ways about it. Your engine is going to blow and I can't fix it. I'm not sure anyone can. It's simply too hot to exist here in the material plane. Unless you return to Avernus. For good. This thing is going to blow. Wow. Sooner rather than later. That's but, sad. But still, you, you can give me something that will let me touch again, right? Safely. Yes, but... That's all I need to know. Okay. Do it. Please. Yeah, the returning to hell seems like a long-term problem. The short-term problem... Um, yeah, let's, let's give him the iron. Well, all right. This shouldn't take long. Honestly, her being able to be a little bit happier and her being, having to go back to hell are like two different problems, you know. Same as last time. You'll need to install it yourself. This should do the trick. There. So did it... work? Only one way to find out. Uh, hug her, absolutely. Oh. Thank you. It's really nice, actually. I can't believe it. Thank you, Dallon. Thank you so much. It's the least I could do. Before you go, there's something I need to tell you. That engine of yours, it's contained for the moment, but it's just too hot to exist here in the material plane indefinitely. I know you know that, but the thing is, there's a cure. Oh, is there? I wasn't making any headway with the mechanics, none at all. The environment here is just too cold to sustain metals like the ones inside you. You have to return to Avernus. For good. It's not really this a cure. It's going to burn you up from the inside out. That's just kicking the can down the road. Think. The minute I set foot back in Avernus, Zarya will force me back into service. I'm not doing her bidding again. I'd rather die. I get that, but don't rule it out. The world just might be better with you in it. Even in Avernus. I won't stop trying to figure out a cure, but 
Hmm. At this point, I think we all have to face the inevitable. I mean, maybe. What if he's not telling the truth? What if maybe he's... What if he's been influenced by the demons and are trying to lie to her so that she will think she has to go back? Um, we'll have to make the inevitable evitable. That's a good you response. You read my mind. Thanks, Damon. Really, you've given me more than I could ever repay. It's been my pleasure. Good luck, both of you. Look after yourself, all right? Huh. Okay, well, let's see what Karlak has to say about that now. This is the best day. The best day! Oh, I'm glad to see her happy. I'm happy for you, I'm for so sure. I'm so happy for me, too. Now, I just need to find someone to cuddle up to tonight, and I'll be the happiest woman on the Sword Coast. <laughs> Uh, what about what she, what he said about your engine? What do you think? Listen, I'm never going back. If you said I could die right now or live a thousand years in the hells, I'd choose to go out now with my freedom intact. I respect that. I don't expect anyone to understand that. But I've been dealt a hand most people don't have to contemplate playing. Yeah, um... It wouldn't be forever. You could return just long enough for us to find a solution. Maybe. You heard Damon. There is no solution. It's hell or bust. I choose bust. I mean, there's no solution but at the moment. I don't want to talk about this now. I've been given a huge gift. I can touch the people I love for the first time in a decade. And for the first time in a decade, there are people I care about all around me. Let me enjoy that. Of course. Please. Yeah, I understand. I'll, I'll leave it alone for now. Thanks, soldier. I just want to celebrate this. At least for a little. But we're not done talking about it, is all I have to say. Anyway, um... So, Damon is also a traitor, right? So we can... It's you. What are the odds? Yeah, we just talked. So glad you're <laughs> all right. Well, as all right as any of us. A makeshift Harper's Fire might not be where I hope to set up shop. But maybe I've got something you can use anyway. And, if you find any interesting materials in need of working, I'm happy to help. For sure. Um, what do you mean by interesting materials? I have I extra infernal iron. hesitated to mention this back in the Druid's Grove, for obvious reasons. But no one has earned my trust, if not you. When Elturel was dragged into Avernus, I was drafted into a devil's smithy. Well, that's it why you're so awful. good at things like this. Infernal metal is like a wild horse. Powerful, exuberant. It'll kill you if you lack technique. I can sense some. Smell it almost. Somewhere in the area. Underground, maybe. Out there in the shadows. If you find it, bring it to me. I'll make something incredible. Okay. Um... There's a few things here we could do. I found this metal in a place called Grimforge. What do you make of it? I don't know which metal he we're talking about specifically, Absolutely. but Absolutely. Rare to get your hands on this stuff. Well done keeping it to hand. Cuz we used all the mithril, right? One is the sh armor that Shadowheart's wearing right now and the other is the armor that Lazel is wearing. I'm not sure which metal we gave him, but I mean, we're not doing anything with the moment, but There you are And be careful who you show that to It might draw the wrong kind of attention Whoa, flawed Helldusk armor 
What is that? Heavy armor, lesser infernal retribution. When you are hit by a foe within seven feet, you might it might take one to four fire damage. And take one less piercing damage. That's That's really cool. I wonder if he can make any other stuff. I wonder what he took from us. Um Huh. But, oh, a hellish inspiration armaments. So I was, I got inspired uh, from doing this apparently. Obtain a piece of infernal equipment from Damon. And we are swimming in inspiration points right now. We need to find a way to use them. <laughs> need anything? Um, I found some hellish masks. Anything you can, can you make anything of these? You see something that's already fabricated is tough, but I can try. How many do you have? Um, here's one, I guess. I think I might have another one. Like, hmm. Astarian might have I the other I one. I sniffed American scent somewhere. These must have been a pain to get a hold of. American masks are brittle, so what I make won't last as long as my usual pieces. That's fair. I'll t I mean, I'll take whatever you can get me. I think it's one of those creepy, like, child masks, I'm pretty sure, that we found in the Grim Forge. So anything that's actually useful would be an improvement for sure. There. Be careful who sees you using that. Might draw the wrong sort of eyes. An Orthon explosive. Huh. We're getting all kinds of cool stuff from him. 3 to 16 fire damage. Alright. Nice. Looked like there were a couple other things we might Need be able anything? to craft. Um... I think I found a material you could work with it. Work with what can you make of it? Again, I'm not sure what material we're giving him, but it's perfect, really. Just a moment, I'll be able to work this one quickly. Maybe it's all the extra infernal iron that we don't need anymore. That's possible because Carlac, all of her her engine is pretty much good to go at this point. Well, relatively speaking, so this must be yeah. There you are. This must be the use be for the you show that to. iron we don't need anymore. Wrong kind of attention. Okay. Ooh, flawed hell dust helmet. We're getting neat stuff, man. Magical durability. The wielder has a plus two bonus to saving throws against spells. That sounds great. We may just send that to um, the Shadowheart. She's got a fun little pirate hat on at the moment, which I love, but. Ooh, she looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. With the whole crest and everything. Yeah, I think I'm going to have her rock that. <laughs> that looks really cool. And then I think there's one more thing that he can maybe make for us. Need anything? Um, I found this metal in a place called Grimforge. We must have a lot of it. More than I, more than I realized, I guess. Well, well, well. I knew I smelled something. And I know just what to do with him. One moment. We might even get a whole set. We got the we got the chest piece. We got the helmet. Maybe the boots or the gloves uh, are next. Yeah, be careful who you show it to. Yep, the gloves. Cool. Lesser Infernal Touch. Your weapon attacks deal an additional 1d4 fire damage. Your unarmed attacks deal an additional 1d4 necrotic damage. and could possibly inflict bleed. Ooh. That might be good. Let's see. Attention. What does Karlak have at the moment? Wearer gains advantage on melee attack. Okay. I possibly. Shadowheart has... When you heal another creature, it gains resistance against... No, let's let's give her the cool gloves. Oh, nice. Those are sick. All right, and then maybe there's one more thing he can make for us? Need anything? No, I guess that's it. Cool, but very very much worth it. Very much worth it. Uh, and let's see what he has in inventory. No healing potions. Um, maybe I'd be in the in the um 
in the market for some light armor. That's... That's, um... Teleport to wherever you fire this arrow. That's pretty good. Scimitar. Uh, short sword. Battle axe. No. Dark fire short bow. Ooh. Yeah, somebody could definitely use a short bow. And you can cast haste. Yes, please. We're a little bit poor at the moment, so we're going to have to find a way to afford that. Maybe sell some stuff back to him. Chain shirts. Scale mail plus two. Ring mail armor. Chain mail plus two. Uh, you gain plus one to bonus attack rolls. Life stealing. Sort of life stealing. That's cool. I'll do as much as I can. But, let's see. We could sell off these crossbows for sure. We don't need those anymore. Uh, you know what? Let's just get the cash at the moment. No, let's do that. Let's sell those off. Uh, let's sell... Carlock have anything that we want to sell? Actually, I don't think so. How about Gale? Hmm. Speak with Dead. We can do that anytime we want, so we definitely don't need that. So, let's do that. Same thing for me. I've got five scrolls of Speed with Dead, which are pretty much useless to me at the moment. So, I'll sell that. And then, anything else valuable? An incense stick. Some just random junk that we happen to uh, run across, across along the way. This fishing rod, I guess. Okay. So, oh, we could sell some of these plus one weapons that we don't need. Yeah, we definitely don't need those. Cool. Um, so... With that, we can only get one of the Sword of Life Stealing or the Short Bow. I think I'm going to take the Short Bow at the moment. There we go. And then we need to save up like 400 more to get the Sword of Life Stealing. Uh, nice. I'll be here if you need anything. So speaking of that, why don't we go ahead and equip that? Ooh, yes please, give me that. That's neat. Cast haste how often? Once once per long rest. That's awesome. And then that will free up um this crossbow for Shadowheart. And we are set. Cool. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is go up and uh, talk to Isabel. She is the cleric of Saluna, who is going to give us a way to uh, resist the curse of the Shadowlands. So let me go ahead and uh, get us up there. So here we are in the chambers of Isabel, the cleric of Saluna, the goddess of light. Now this dialogue is probably going to be very interesting, considering that uh, Shadowheart is pretty much a diametrically opposed, uh, or her goddess is at least, to what Saluna is all about. So let's see what sort of friction may result. That's neat. The goddess of the moon providing support to the end of the last light. <coughs> hmm. 
Hmm. I wonder what happened if that was just a lot of effort for her. Coughing means something. They don't just have her cough no apropos defense. of nothing. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Pleased to meet you. Um, and I've heard you, the protector of the inn, the banisher of shadows. Myself and Our Lady are doing what we can to hold the line. I hear you and your tadpole will be our offense. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess. Jahir has sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. She seems like a tad suspicious, sarcastic, I'm not sure. Like, she's being outwardly kind of nice, but there's like a hint of something in what she's saying that is throwing me off. It hurts. Perfect. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. But there are places it won't help. Places where the curse is darker, stronger. The cultists are able to traverse even the deepest shadows, though. I don't know how. The Harpers are trying to figure it out. Salunite magic. Dark lady, forgive me. Good nose. Like a nasty little terrier. Ooh, spicy. Uh, anything else that we should know? Ketherick is a frightening man. But you have something he doesn't. Allies worth having. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait. Do you hear that? Uh-oh. Something's wrong. Oh, are we getting into combat right away? Uh, I did not... <laughs> I didn't expect that. I mean, I inspect expected the inn to be, like, attacked at some point, but not, like... Super early on in this act. <sighs> Flaming Fist Mercenary. Hello, Isabel. Marcus, is that you? What's happened to you? I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Catherick himself. Right. This evil guy, um, who you've heard so much about. Isabel, who is this? He's a flaming fist. Schmuck. Or was. He came with the others when we created this haven. And I thank you for your hospitality. True soul, my instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick alive. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's probe his thoughts for more information. Good thing that the DC was pretty low. A haunting face swims into your mind's eye. Its instructions vivid in your mind. Nothing is more important than bringing the girl alive. Oh, it's a kidnap What's mission. What's going on? If you have something to say, say it. Yep, this is a kidnap mission. Pathetic. The absolute sees all. Your treachery will be punished. Not treachery. I'm the not absolute. on the absolute side. I'm just an of enemy. <laughs> You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've but been Catherick promised. Ketherick and the Absolute are in cahoots. He already has. Time to go, Isabel. What, your reward for betraying is just a bunch of wings? I mean, they're cool, but not like... I wouldn't just betray my friends for fairy wings. Constitution, you could say, failed. Yikes. Ooh, there's the kids in there. That's not good. Ooh. Moon maiden, guide my hand. All right, we're doing this, I guess. Oh wow. Okay, Carlac is up first. So this is a kidnap mission. We've already seen. Um, We've already seen one person get snatched up. Okay, what can we do to ensure that we protect Isabel at all costs? 
Um, how much would a ray of fear? 36%? It's not amazing, I'll be honest. Um, we'll do a reckless attack, potentially. Arrow of lightning. Um, elixir of heroism. Oil of accuracy. That's not a terrible idea. What are my bonus action choices at the moment? Oh, the Branding Smite. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go all out on this guy, I think. Uh, let's do... Actually, you know what? We'll do Tears Protection on Isabel. Shield of Faith, so she's protected. Then we're going to just, just going to Reckless Attack this guy. Okay, that's good. Um... I wish that we had the the ability to knock him over. Bleed. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. Uh, cutting words. Sure. Saved, unfortunately. All right, let's get really close and turn. Let's see what he decides to do. Opportunity attack for sure. Nice. That's a solid hit. Ooh. Whoa. Yikes, she's taking some heat already. Um. You know what? I could always Dimension Doris away. You know? Just let my companions um, kind of deal with this at the moment. Dimension Door. It's... Myself and one adjacent ally. Oh, she's not considered an ally? Well, that sucks. Okay, well, that's not happening. Um, shoot, man. Where's my haste? I do have my haste right there. I could do heat metal on this guy for sure. Wouldn't be a terrible idea. If only I could cast invisibility on her, that would be really nice. Let's let's look at all my items. I might have like an invisibility. Uh, I can turn invisible. See invisibility. Arrow of lightning. Humanoid slaying. I've got this explosive as well. Hmm. Can I cast a blink on somebody else? I guess that's a self. Ooh, scroll of banishment. Charisma save. 70%. Oh. <laughs> I banished him. Yep. Yep, pretty good. I think that's a good use. And bonus action. Ooh, she's already not looking great. We're going to healing word her. There we go. And we will go over here to be um, hopefully between her and whoever comes to attack. And end turn. Oh, Isabel, what are you doing? Guiding bolt, okay. A healing word on herself, okay. Oh gosh. Uh, opportunity attack, sure. We're cutting words, cutting words in that. Oof. You'll make excellent fertilizer. All right, just gotta hang in there. Really need Gale to get up and running, ASAP. Oh, and Shadowheart, too. Cool. You know what? We're going to do Spirit Guardians. Right here. Um, at the... Yeah, the... The Radiant type. Actually, you know what? Let me jump... Here. 
And then we're going to cast Spirit, Spirit Guardians of the Radiant Variety. Mm, actually, it's not... Can I get a tad closer? There we go. Perfect. Should hit everybody. I just want to hit everybody in this radius. Man, all of them saved. That's kind of crazy. Let's take a look and see what type of creatures these are. They're just immune to poison. Undead. Okay, cool. That's good to know. Alright, Gale. What are we going to do with you? We have Conjure, Minal, and Elemental. Or we could Banish again. That wouldn't be a terrible idea. Four. Actually, let's, let's do like a, like a third level Magic Missile. So, two on you. One on you. And, uh, two on you. What? Oh my gosh, they've got one and two hit points respectively. That is very unfortunate. Okay. It's fine. Alright, good job, team. I feel pretty good about our, these guys' ability to do a decent... Well, maybe not. Critical miss. We just need to make sure that we get down those two uh, ghouls before what's-his-name comes back. I'll send... Oh, they're not out here anymore. Right, they're in here now. Um, what can I do? He's banished for two turns. Oh, actually, that's nice. That's very nice. I could potentially slip on the ice, so I gotta be careful. I'm gonna jump right here. Hit him there. Hit him there. I'm gonna get up all in their business and turn. This guy's still banished. We've got one more winged horror to take out here. I've got line of sight on them. I could do something like a Vicious Mockery if I wanted to. Or I could cast Haste on myself. That wouldn't be a terrible idea. Hmm. Ooh, you know what I'm going to do? Survival Instinct. If it reaches zero hit points, it heals. I'm going to cast that on Isabel. Oh, it has to be an ally. Man, it really sucks that she doesn't count as an ally right now. Um... can do a Scorching Ray. Pretty decent damage output, right? Critical hit on one of them. That's good. He should go down pretty quickly. We're going to do another Healing Word on her. Okay. Good stuff. And we'll go help out the Harpers. Well, but we got to worry about Marcus. Marcus is coming back soon. That's the issue. All right, Isabel. Really? Why would you move out of his opportunity attack range? Um, no, don't react. It's fine. I'm going to save my cutting words for other purposes. Yep, opportunity. Go get it, Carlac. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Whoa, Wild Shape. Oh, this is the first Wild Shape we've seen. I guess other than Halzen. But that's super cool. Alright, all we're going to do is sit here and prepare for... What's his name to come back? Marcus. So we're going to cast Spiritual Weapon right um, here. 
so we can waylay him immediately. And then what else can we do to protect... Um, to protect um, Isabel? She's got Shield of Faith right now. I don't want to cast another Concentration spell because this is... Concentration, I think. Yeah, it is. Mm. Invoke duplicity. It's not a bad idea. Oh, but it's concentration. Never mind. Resistance. Turn on dead. Um... Mirror Image. Guardian of Faith, that would be our big fourth level spell. Sunbeam is awesome. Uh, I might just have her not have her not take her turn, potentially. You know, just have her come over here so that when this guy comes back, we can absolutely just schwack him. Uh, temporary hit points. Actually, we'll do that. Oh, let's give it to her. Let's give it to Isabel. Oh, it's on. It's on myself. All right, never mind. That's fine. Uh, Gale. I'm gonna have him come over here and just get ready to attack the other people down here. Maybe cast a flaming sphere down. Here. I could cast like a flaming... Ooh, it would be an upcast one. That's that's kind of cool. I could cast a flaming sphere here, then it could jump down and help them. That's not a bad idea. Is there a range at which I can control it? Actually, I don't think... I don't think so. Um... Yeah. Well, that would be my last third level spell. Hmm. I could do magic missile. That's not a that's not a bad idea. Just do a first level magic missile on this one over here. To help out Jahara just a little bit. Okay, that's fine. Alright, these Harpers are going to get into the mix. Really? What is it with all of you guys taking opportunity attacks? Ooh, that's bad. That's also bad. That's good. The highs and lows. Alright, this guy's got him pretty much cornered. Trip attack, nice. That's effectively a stun. Cool. Alright, Karlak. Reckless attack, this guy. Nice. And then he's coming back here in a minute. Is, uh, what's his name? So we're just going to hang tight here for the moment and turn. He's coming back. Spirit Guardians, we're going to opportunity attack. Ooh, that's not good. Attacking Shadowheart, that's good. Spirit Guardians is gone, but that's okay. That's fine. We can deal with this. Um, okay, how are we going to deal with this guy here? This Heat Metal one, that's very interesting. Um, maybe I can cast haste on her or on Shadowheart. Shadowheart's going next. I'm going to cast haste on Shadowheart because she, she deals like radiant damage. Uh, I'm going to save my last healing word just in case somebody goes down.
Guiding bolt. All right, it was a it was a decent idea. Come on, Panther. Ooh. Okay. All right, Shadowheart's got two actions here. I could cast Spirit Guardians again at the third level. Let's see what all our third level spells are. Mass Healing Word, Daylight, Fear. They have disadvantage on ability checks. Okay. What would the what would the percentage be? Is there no save for it? Uh, it's a wisdom save. Okay. Interesting. Honestly, I feel like we should just cast Spirit Guardians again. So we're going to do that. We're going to do Radiant. And then we will do... This one, which possibly dazes the target, I think. Ooh, Concussive Smash. No, we won't react. I think. That's fine. I could do a Mass Healing Word as well, or a Healing Word. Let's do a Basic Healing Word to... Oh, she's out of sight. Never mind. That's it. Alright, Gale. What can you do to wreck this fool here? I could Fireball going to destroy all of this. 60%, huh? Or Thunder Wave. Or Conjure Minor Elemental. That's kind of cool. Sixty-five percent, huh? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give haste to Karlak so she can just go to town on this guy. I think that's the best move here. All right, those guys are all paralyzed. That's a bad time. Fortunately, they're coming up here to attack us. Oh, that's not good. Come on, take him down, please. Three misses takes an opportunity attack, because of course he does. Four misses down there. Critical miss. Finally. Okay, now they can go in here to help. Hopefully. Spiritual weapon. We'll do our concussive smash on this guy. Miss. Good stuff. Well, now, what are they looking for? Are they coming to join the flight here? Okay, very big turn from Karlak right here. Very big turn. We're hasted. Um, we're going to do a branding smite. Actually, we'll probably do a reckless attack. Yeah. This takes an action and a bonus action. Actually, both of these take actions and bonus actions. Yeah, we'll do a Branding Smite. Um, melee. 60%. Reckless. We missed. That's great. Um... We'll do it again. Got advantage. Cool. And we'll do it again. And again. Okay. And then bonus action. We could pommel strike. That's not a bad idea. Cutting words. What is days again? Disadvantage on wisdom saving throws. Can't take reactions. Hmm. How many... How 
how many um, bardic inspirations do I have left? I can't check right now. I feel like I have two left, maybe. I think we just won't react on this one. Oh, he's healing up every time we do this. Ooh, I should have had Karlak Rage, maybe. Okay, let's do a... Heat Metal. He's, uh, he failed. That's good. Okay. That's fine. And then bonus action. Anything we can do. Actually, yes. Let's get here in melee. Everything. And... Let's maybe use our last healing word on her. Oh, no, it doesn't do her a ton of good, but we're keeping her alive. Oh, you guys weren't even in the initiative right now. All right, Gail. I think we're going to do it. We're going to conjure Minor Elemental. Plane of Fire. Um, ice. No, we're going to we're going to conjure this guy from the Plane of Ice. Right here. Cool. And turn. Just shrug off the paralyzed effect. That's good. As does he. He casts mage armor. That's plus. Ooh. That's that's bad. They can't get very far, unfortunately. Guys are coming in as fast as they can. All right, spiritual weapon. Get in on this guy. Spiritual weapon has not done much this battle. Ooh, nice. All right, not as nice. All right, Carlac. First, we're gonna rage. And then we're going to Reckless Attack. And we're going to Reckless Attack again with advantage. And we're going to Reckless Attack again. And we're going to Reckless Attack one more time. Thank you. Finally, this guy's down. Oh my goodness. Okay. And we're just going to run as fast as we possibly can and hopefully get within some sort of melee range of this guy. Where do cool. I go from here? All right, Penelope. Um, she is very close to dying. Makes me worried. I could do a third level, like, um, magic missile to take him down. Or just do, like, a... Let's just do a basic melee attack. 13 damage, pretty good. Alright, ooh, my, uh, my elemental is coming in here. He is unfortunately not going to be able to help out the winged horror. Oh, but that's the last person who's alive. Huh. Okay, well, just get as close as you can, I guess. Alright, Isabelle's gonna shake it off. 
recast mage armor. That's good. That was actually... So what just happened there, it seemed like... Um, she was just moving, but something very important just happened there. Uh, and what happened was that when Karlak ran over here, she triggered this guy's opportunity attack, which I didn't even really need to at the moment. But that actually turned out to be extremely important because for whatever reason, Isabel just decided to run away apropos of nothing, which would have triggered an opportunity attack, which might very well have killed her with 15 hit points. So I actually can't... I can't over overstate how important that sequence of event just was right here. Uh, let's do a sacred flame on them. Okay, and turn. And then Gale will use the guaranteed damage from the magic missile right here. Just a level one should be enough. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> An alley -oop. There's a parasite in that corpse, brimming with potent magic. Wow. That was, um, challenging. Wow. Hopefully everybody can heal up. Are you all right? I'm fine. <coughs> Marcus has been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time. And that was no random attack. You were the target, Isabel. They She's know somewhere how behind that you dresser. Are, but they <laughs> don't know about you. Yeah, I'm the secret weapon. Gatherick will strike again. We need you to strike first. Discover the source of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Good luck. We're in more danger than I knew. If something happens to me, Ooh, she looks rough. Everyone in this inn is dead. Like that. Um Marcus told me Kethrick wanted you captured, not kill. What what does he need you for? Why does a man like him do anything? Power, spite, some kind of twisted personal morality. I can understand why he'd want me dead. Without me keeping the curse at bay, everyone in this inn, everyone intent on killing him, is dead too. As for why he'd want to take me alive, I don't know. And I don't want to find out. Now that we have you, I hope I won't have to. Let's hope. Um, I'm getting tired. I never get tired of hearing that. That's true. Good. Because your work here is only beginning. No mercy. For Kethrick will have none on you. True. End this. Oh, I intend to. Absolutely. Fist Marcus. That is that a invitation? <laughs> Fist Marcus. Anyway, let's for sure go ahead and take a, a rest. Feeling fresh. What I do. Ooh, this elemental guy is actually going to stay with us. That's pretty cool. Uh, Gale should... Oh, we've already used his Arcane Recovery, so he's just about Come out of spells. On, Never a dull moment. But yeah, so I think... Well, let's go ahead and chat with her one more time. On with you. Unless you want to come back to a gaggle of shadow-cursed harpers. Could be entertaining. Don't jest. We're all closer to oblivion than you might think. And when we're gone, there'll be no one left to stop Catherick. Go All right. on, then. Anything we can do. This curse seems incredibly powerful. What more can you tell me about it? It belongs to the goddess Shah. According to the Harpers, it fell here when they defeated Kethrick. The one who tried to have me kidnapped. I suppose they didn't defeat him quite hard enough. So it would seem. How did you get here? Right place, right time. When a cleric of Saluna stumbles into a Shah and Shadow, she's bound to set it to rights. At any cost. Hmm. And what's your background? I could say the same. But perhaps we should save the trivia till we're on the other side of this thing. Promise not to die, and we'll celebrate with our life stories. Fair enough. Um, and then I know a little bit about Saluna and Shar, but I want to hear it from her. Moon and shadow. Light and dark. 
Divine sisters ever at war. And this place has become one more battlefield. Sometimes life forces us to choose sides. Luckily, sometimes the choice is obvious. Okay. Good to know. I want to loot Marcus's corpse, but for some reason it's not letting me. Anyway, uh, that was a lot to handle at once. And fortunately, I don't think anybody died, which is extremely surprising. But um, the barrier is still up. We have all of our Harper friends still around, which is very good. And we'll just have to make the best of it. And I guess the next step of the quest... Um, we can speak to the Harpers outside the Last Light and, and uh, ultimately hunt down Kethrick. I guess that's, that's what we're going to do. So thanks for watching this very intense episode. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.